with that said, let's get our guest speaker up here. This lady, uh, I, she was here in town last week. We, uh, last week, she was here in Las Vegas. She's got a book coming out. She's working on it. She's got her own clothesline coming out. She took her family on a family cruise just recently. See, that's what this business is about. We could just take your whole doggone family on a cruise. Why don't we work ACN? If you're not getting what you want out of ACN, maybe it's not because we're not getting customers or IBO. Some of we've got to do something here. So that's what she's doing to build her business, and that's why she's the regional vice president. So these are the advantages you guys can have once you get in that position. And my prayer for every one of you is to become a regional vice president and beyond. But you've got to put the time and work in it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, can we give a warm welcome to none other, the one and only regional vice president, Ms. Jocelyn Bristol. <laughs> I love, love opening up my Monday morning and seeing Mr. Al Thomas and hearing his voice and his energy that he brings uh, to the table, not just here, anywhere he walks in. So I'm just grateful to be here. Um, Mr. Thomas, you're so right. Like, I'm so glad you said, I just need to be honest. <laughs> so, right. You have to, ha you have to understand the reality so that you can do something about it. And we know that ACN truly has the power to change lives. And we have our hands on something that can't be taken away in most, it, it just, it's, it's just what it is. Like if you understand the truth of ACN and the power of how valuable it is and the gift that it is to other people that are looking and haven't does, don't even know about ACN, just like my husband and I back in 2009, you got to open up your mouth and talk. So when he talked about getting out of your comfort, we're going to talk a little bit about that as, uh, of course, it, it leads right into my training. But one of the things I do want to mention right out of the gate is, you know, we went to, um, just an incredible our incredible church here uh yesterday my mom and i my family um and guess who was speaking well we had uh the chaplain of the pittsburgh steelers speaking yesterday and his message jesse harden was there so i know um his message was comfort versus courage Comfort versus courage and his story of becoming the chaplain for the Pittsburgh Steelers was exactly what he was talking about. And which one wins? Which one are you going to allow win, comfort or courage? <laughs> so um, we're, we're going to share a little bit about that as I go through, um, you know, just really having a conversation with all of you. Um, I am so grateful for this platform and what Mr. Thomas does. I want to, you guys all know how I feel about Mr. Thomas and, and Mr. Jabri Clemens, who does the back end, you guys, um, and, you know, leads from the front and we, you'll see him at, um, you know, live meetings in Alabama and Nashville and all over. So I'm just grateful for their leadership and all that they give uh, to all of us each and every day of the week. So no matter what it is, they show up for us. So thank you so much for just having me and letting me be walk alongside both of you in this journey of life um, and leadership. So thank you so much. Um, so we're going to dive into a message that came to me, um, you know, as it does during the week. And um, I want to share how to lead um, with vision and dreams. How many of you dream? How many of you have dreams? How many of you dreamed more when you were a kid? I want all of you to do a few things. If you would do me a favor and write down some of those dreams that you, at least one dream when you were a kid, and has it been realized or have you let it go? To, you know, add another couple dreams that and, and visions that maybe you've had over the years that are still with you that haven't been realized. Maybe some of you haven't had a vision. Maybe you don't know what that looks like. Maybe you have had it, but you didn't know that where it came from or what it is or if it was real. Um, those are those are really things that we um, I want to share today and talk about because and then how many of you have journals? Okay, I know Mr. Thomas does. That's a given. <laughs> and they're probably stacked up and in bookcases and because that's what we do. And that's one of the things that the chaplain from Pittsburgh Steelers shared was that he journals not only his visions, you know, this came and this was after I'd already uh planned this training. So you know it's it goes together. Um, 
he journals his prayers. And when you journal your prayers, things become illuminated like your dreams and your visions. And so um, I want to talk a little bit about that too. But one of the things I, I will share with you is I also want you to write three things that of definition of what you feel success is. What does success mean to you? And I'm going to share a few things uh, on success because I, you know, I'm going to always come from the place where I live and where I have been leading all my, for, for this greater portion of my life is spirit led. And I'm going to dive into a message called, and I'm going to, I'm going to give you some things of definitions of success. Uh, I promise that, but this is the, this is what we are talking about today. Let me pull it up. Build your dream life God's way, the power of vision biblically, and this is biblically, and this is a picture of me that my husband took um, about five years ago when we were out to lunch on the bay in Santa Cruz, California, and um, it, it was a good picture. For, it was a picture that I needed to use today for all of you. Every next level of your life will require a better you. I, I was with Mrs. Roeder this weekend. We, we did a live event in Sacramento. It was phenomenal. It was so good. Some of, a few of you were there from this area. Um, and I mentioned, talk, I talked about being 1% better every day. Taking what you did yesterday and creating more, even if it's just 1% more, becoming better in your life because your next level is going to require that. Hold the vision, trust the process, always dream, plan, prepare the plan, and take action and be a doer. And that's how you're going to build your dream life. When, when you put all the things that we've talked about, we're, we're on our fourth week now, right? And, um, and, and bringing that all together right in here. But we're going to talk about that the definition of success. We're going to talk about dreams and vision. And when I, I'm going to share a two minute video. How many of you know Ed Millett? Yeah, you probably listened to Ed Millett a few times. He has a, you know, he has a book out, and I actually did a training on this called "The Power of One More." Um, you could go back to that training. I'm not going to dive into that part of it, but there's a piece and a portion of something he trained that's really, really powerful. Um, it's the four steps. Let me let me make sure I'm I'm only going to go through one step, but the four steps to build your dream life. You can go watch the other part of it, but it's going to be focused on the first step, which is um, possibility project projection. And that's that journaling that I'm talking about and projecting the possibilities in the future, the vision, the dreams. So let's dive into that real quick. I'm going to share my screen. A certain screen. percentage of people, a very small percentage of people who operate out of their vision and imagination. The vast majority of people don't do that, however. Most people operate out of history and memory. So there's a term that I want you to understand called cognitive immobility. And what that means is, is when you're really mentally trapped in a place from your past, a human being has about 60,000 thoughts per day. Are you ready for this? 90% of them are repetitive thoughts. So the actual way to change your life, if your 90% of your thoughts are the same, isn't very easy. 90% of your thoughts are the same every single day, and 80% of those are negative thoughts. And imagine why human beings are wired for pain, wired for failure, not wired for growth and expansion, not wired for bliss. People that I think are happy, that create things, that take a life that's one way and make a new one, have cognitive mobility. They're able to move forward. They're mobile in their thinking. I wanna teach you a tool called possibility projection. Have you ever had like a Monday morning and you got a grind of a week ahead, but somehow you got something cool you're gonna do on the weekend? Just knowing that's coming helps you be more present and go through what you need to go through in the day, in the week. What you've really done is you've possibility projected the party that weekend. You possibility project in your life. This forces you into imagination, vision, and dreams. So you already do this from time to time. What if you made possibility projecting, future focusing, part of your routine regularly, family, money, business, physical, whatever it might be, possibility projected. Now I wanna challenge you, go on what I call a phone fast. 
turn your phone off and you put it away for a day. I think you'll find that the world will be okay without you and that 99.9% .9 of the things that are on that phone you don't have to get to. I really love social media, but I actually have begun to believe that social media has more negatives than positives. Taking you oftentimes to a reference of the past, the distraction of it, the stress of it, it's toxic. It's mainly unnecessary and unhealthy, isn't it? I think if you build in a phone fast, you'll find yourself much healthier, much more present, and have a much more compelling future. I want to challenge you today to start to operate out of your imagination and your dreams and your vision. Let your memories not use you. You use your memories. Right? You know, that that's that the thing about that is, and what he's sharing is we're gonna go over cognitive immobility versus cognitive mobility, which is, did you hear him say, you have 60,000 thoughts a day and 80% of them are negative? That's what we're, well, that's what we're starting our day with, 60, to think about that, right? And tr working to change all that so that you can have those, not only have the dreams and the vision, but that you actually get to work with them. If you have 60,000 thoughts, where is it taking you in a day? And if 80% of them are negative, that's, that's an issue. That's a problem. That's why we can't seem to get to the dream and the vision that we have been doing, you know, coming, coming across in our human life. We are human, each and every one of us are, but when we're led in the right way, we can have success uh, in, in so many areas of our life. So what is the definition of success? Let's start there. That I'm going to go always to the biblical side, as you saw, um, and I, we're going to talk about just a little bit about success in that sense. In the sense of prospering, success is the translation of sakal. That's, you know, Greek or what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a, it's a word that you're going to know what it, it means to be wise, to prosper. Joshua 1, 8, thou shalt have good success. It's all over the Bible. There's so many scriptures about success and you can go venture in there if you feel like it. To follow after. In the first sense, it is the translation of Yarish, which is to seize, to seize the moment or take possession of. That's in Deuteronomy. So that promised land that, that is promised to each and every one of us, we need to go take possession of it. But what does it take to have success, right? It starts with the dream. It starts with the vision. And then it's the action that comes with it. Now, I, I have something I want to share with you real quick about the vision. I'm going to go back to my one slide here um, so you can see it. When vision is revealed, it gives direction and challenges and challenges purpose, purposeful living. So when vision is revealed, it gives direction and challenges and challenges purposeful living. Hopefully you get you understand that part of it because we all want to be in purposeful living. The Bible says the, the people cast off restraint when there is no vision. Well, that is Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. We've, we've talked about that. I know, um, you know, Mr. Thomas has, has said that multiple times, you know, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The vision will come alive um, when you do, when you, when you really understand the purpose of vision. We need a vision to see God's building. If we are open to the Lord and seek him, eventually the vision will be open to us and we will see it in our spirit and the building of God will become a vision to us. So to have success, you've got to start with the vision and the dreams, right? But you got to take action with it. So when he's talking about the possibility projection and that cognitive mobility versus cognitive immobility, you're operating in vision and imagination with the cognitive mobility. You're operating in history and memory. That's the, the verses, history and memory with the, in, the cognitive immobility. So all of those, that messaging, the thoughts that you think, right? How many, you know, Dr. Seuss talks about the, it's like the thoughts that you think. It sounds like Dr. Seuss anyway, but we bring in all of this negative thinking. And when he mentioned about taking a phone fast, how many of you have ever taken a phone fast? And social media is, 
it has a gr has a great platform. So it's not to to knock social media. It's just how we use it and what we do with it, how much time we spend in it. But what happens a lot of times is when you're in social media, um, who are you surrounding yourself with? Like, who are you following? Who's feeding the words and and stuff into you into your spirit into your mind so what are you listening to what are you looking at that's really important in anything in life who you're following like are you you know when you're following mr thomas you're gonna you're gonna live a well-lived life if you listen and and take his coaching and his mentorship are you following those same types of people on social media and if you are how much time are you spending because if you have sixty thousand thoughts, you're adding more to it when it comes to social media. So the right thoughts have to go in because all you're doing is blocking the blessings and the vision and the dreams when the negative thoughts of 80% of them are taking over. I hope this is making sense to all of you because it is a message that somebody's needing here and, and who were, because what happens is a lot of times when you go to social media it brings back bad memories. There's things in there that trigger people and it take it keeps you and takes you right back to either those bad memories or triggers you to not move forward. It, and it, it's not a good place. So if you're gonna follow people, it should be someone like Mr. Al Thomas on YouTube and 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 social media and there and Jabri Clemens. I mean, it's all good feeding, but limit yourself on how much you take in from there and then bring dreams and visions yourself in your postings, you know, shorten your time of spending it on there, but also what you're sharing on there, make it powerful and impactful. So you're tr attracting the right people. Does that make sense? It's not just about what you're feeding yourself and what you're doing, but you want to be able to attract the right people. So if you're going to be on social media for a short amount of time, make sure it's impactful and what your message is to attract those same people, right? The right people. So human beings are wired for pain and failure. That's what, but that's the human beings, right? We don't come into this body, you know, this human body, we come into it with the spirit and we leave with the spirit. So you know, I look at it as being spirit led in this world uh, for me and my journey. And I, I love to teach that. I'm not going to go into much of that, but I, but you get pieces of that through my training. So I want to make sure that you understand that the human being though itself, because of this world is wired for pain and failure, not wired for growth and expansion. And we, how many of you want growth and expansion? right? Growth and expansion is important. I want to give a shout out to, to Deborah Rokemore. She hit 75 points. I can see the growth and expansion happening in Deborah um, as I'm getting these messages of her next milestones. That We got to give cheers and, and celebration to people who are growing and expanding and doing the right things in their business, right? And when you're doing the right things, in life, your business is going to unfold the same way. So um, this conversation is really powerful and I hope you guys are getting it. So I say the spirit led life, that that's what's wired for growth and expansion. And Mr. Thomas, you know, when you, even if you don't hear the word God or, you know, he leads this way every single day and you can feel it. It's not about what you say. It's about how you project that and the care and concern that you have for others when you're building a business like ACN. ACN will absolutely give you the life that you want, but we have to take action. You've heard me say this before. Of course, it's biblical. Faith without works is dead, right? You can have all the faith in the world, but you don't take the right actions forward. You're going to miss out. So um, you want to make sure that you're following a system, which in life, you should have a system in your home. You should have a system in your business. ACN has the perfect system that can unfold an RVP being born like Deborah Rock Rokemore, who is taking those actions. Those are things that are just going to happen for her. Her vision, her dreams, you know, when I have conversations with her, um, when we're at... Um, 
the big events, I can feel it. It's not what she says. It's what I feel coming from her and that that's ignited in her, uh, the vision and the dream to get to where she wants to go. So understanding some of that is really, really important. Another thing I want to talk about is the cognitive mobility. So what do you do? What is it that you should do? What does that mean? It's moving different. I look at it as, as God's way in the kingdom for the kingdom, but you can look at how it's just moving differently than you're already moving um, and walking because we tend to, anytime something negative comes our way because of the, the memory and the history of what happened to us before, with, whether it's just what happened in your personal life, it can impact your business life if you allow it to. See, things happen to us all, but it's how we how we deal with it, how we get through it, um, how we don't just linger in it. We have to have, we have to be solution oriented. There's never a problem. There's always a solution and you can get through anything that comes your way. I can tell you life throws it sometimes all at once. Is that right, Mr. Thomas? <laughs> Sometimes it just seems like it's just bam, bam, bam. How many of you feel that way sometimes? Like it's just, it's just not, and you're, and you question, you're questioning. And I say, I'm, you know, if I'm doing that, I'm questioning God. And so I learned, I've really learned to not ask why me. I say, why not me? Did you get that? Not don't ask why me or why this or why that. Why not you so that you can give a different way of being in this world and help other people. And that's what ACN, you know, whether you're an ACN or you're not into ACN, you see this later, just in life and whatever you're doing, the way you walk in it, the way you're being matters. And when you can come with a light and a vision and dreams, and you can cast those visions and those dreams, people are attracted to you. That's really what I want to get my message across to all of you is when you can really see and walk in your dream and walk in your vision and not allow what happens to you to take it away and to make you question if you're in the right place. Because Mr. Thomas posted something that is very significant. And I think most of you saw it, but I'm going to read it again because it's really, really powerful in a simple way. And it says, um, here it is. The minute you realize your worth, you shift your energy to attract new people who respect your worth and who you are. It starts with you first though. <laughs> starts with you first. And that's, you know, that's the understanding is we have to get better every day, 1% better every day. That's what, what you're going to attract. You're going to attract people that want that kind of life. So really knowing, it was funny. I think I can't, I don't think I'm even going to say it right. He says, if you knew, uh, I know in my knower, <laughs> how many, I think Mr. Thomas always talks, he has said, you know, I just know that I know, right? I just know that I know. That's just that I believe that's what God gives us that knowing deep inside, even it's not like, I think even the, the um, chaplain said, it's not like God says, oh, this is what you need to do. And that his voice is loud and clear and you can hear it. No, it's here. It's here. And his, his words for that was, I knew in my knower. <laughs> so <laughs> you could take that with you. I knew in my knower that I was in the right place. So I think that's another thing that Mr. Thomas posted was God put you here, right? He put you here. And if he put you here and you knew that was in the vision, you too can be an SVP. Why not you? So you can still turn that around to that, that and say, why not you? Not just Mr. Thomas. Why not me? I know I can be an SVP. What does that mean though? The, the three letters don't, don't mean anything. It's all the hard work. 
and all the lives that have been impacted. And you're working out of cognitive mobility, not cognitive immobility. You're mobile, you're moving, you're growing, you're, you're expanding. Your vision is alive and well. And those dreams, how many of you are doing dream boards? Because that's really important. That journaling and visualizing, what does vision come from? <laughs> visualizing, right? So visualizing it in your spirit and in your being so that it can become a reality. It is true that it, when you, what you think about, you bring about. What you focus on is what you're going to get. Does that make sense? So all those things are true, but it also requires action behind it. You can't get there without action, constant, consistent, repetitive action. Doing what Deborah's doing, because I don't, I, you know, it was a few events ago, she was not near 75 points. And she is consistently, constantly repeating the system and talking to people. Because guess what we do? We only talk to people. That's the only thing we do. And from that, we're having a conversation of whether they're going to be a business owner or they're going to be a customer. Right? It's that simple, but we overcomplicate it. And the visions that you might get and the dreams that you have might be big and overwhelming and you don't think they're possible, but all things are possible because it's not by your strength. It's by his strength that you get through. That's my truth. I know it's Mr. Thomas's truth because when life comes and you want to switch into that cognitive immobility and it's on your history and the memories that you have that weren't so good. And you play that old record over and over and over again. And you say you're not good enough or no, you're enough. Just as you are, you come. We all come to the table of ACN just as we are, but we grow and we become better. And we switch out of Dang it, 90% negative thoughts. I had to really think about that. I've really worked on not having negative thoughts, <laughs> but somehow they creep in once in a while. We're all human, right? Just, just knowing that I'm here and Mr. Thomas sees something in me that has me talking to you in a leadership event and I could go, how am I worthy? Well, hey, my message isn't from me, but it's through me. ACN's message that you have your hands on is not about you. It's what you can do with it for your life and how you can bless so many other people. So it's not about you, it's through you that you're gonna get to that person and that person and that person. And you're gonna show them the way through the system. You're gonna surround people. Uh, you're gonna put people around them that are like a Mr. Thomas that can teach and guide and coach. And you're gonna become that Mr. Thomas. But you'll be female. You're gonna be your version. I'm not Mr. Thomas. I'm not as funny as he is. <laughs> but we we can do all things and you can do it I just want you guys to to really think of, about a few things and I want you to get off of this this leadership and I want you to write down even if you are writing now I want you to get it get a board out and start putting that on a dream board again Start over. Even if you did it the first of the year, there's something you're missing there. Something is missing from that dream board because you don't believe you can do it. And you got to put it on there. That's got to become a part of your vision. I want to, I want you to write down what success means to you. And then, you know, three things that success means to you. I gave you some definitions, but I want what it means to you right now. And in the next six months and six months from now, I want you to write it a whole nother three things now, what success means to you. And, uh, and just understand the power that you have to walk in this world and make an impact and change a life. 
just from these two things, understanding dreams are important and they must come alive. And how many of you want to be an example for legacy and generations and impact, not just your children, but your children's children and your children's children? Because you can, like Mr. Thomas, who has done that, and I know his mission isn't over. He's got so much more to do, and so do you and I. And not just in business, but in life, but what you do in your kingdom business or your ACN business, whatever that is driving you is going to illuminate the life that you've dreamed of. Now, also empowering, if you're married or you have a significant other or your children, empowering them by your actions, what they see. That is my whole goal is that my three beautiful grandchildren believe they can do anything, but not by their strength. And man, they're conquering so many things right now. And they're stepping into my oldest granddaughter plays lacrosse, just watching her out there. To, and she's uh, uh, in golf as well. And she's just using her gifts and she's believing for it. And my grandson who, str who struggled in, uh, I'm going to share these stories because it's important. He struggled in in um spelling he's nine years old now but i had a there was a woman a pastor who prophetically said don't don't push him don't don't worry about it just keep encouraging him keep showing him the way and he'll get there and man did he get there and he's brilliant in math we're not always good in everything correct but we continue to try and we encourage people just like our kids. And when, when they see me go through tough times and, and hard moments, how were they seeing me? Yes, I embrace my tears and I embrace my journey where I am because it is hard. It's the human feeling. But when they can see me still have dreams and still have vision and who I'm surrounding myself by, like my daughter coming to the international event, being around all of you, cast more vision in her so why you should be at the international event that's why <laughs> and and getting more people with you there that has always been my goal is always having more people and it sometimes you get a setback and so you gain that you go setback you get back in it you step back in it and you keep inviting and you get people there with you to capture the vision so that their belief level is beyond anything you could ever give them. That was the only way I could get the belief that I had in the beginning of my business in ACN, Tony and I, was to attend our first event, which was in um, San Diego, California. And I had the, I shared this this weekend. I'm going to end with this because that's where I'm supposed to be. Um, I will tell you that I had every reason not to be at that event. I was told within three weeks by my regional vice president who was working with us and we were having success, but I had no idea what I was doing and we had no idea how much money we were making, but we were just doing it. We were just taking the action and we were coachable. And she said, you need to be at the international training event in San Diego. I said, when is it? And she said, in three weeks, three weeks, because <laughs> we got started in January. It was the first of March and it was a couple of weeks into the, to building the business. That's what she said. So, and then we were at a training and they were promoting it and, and I could feel I needed to be there, but guess what time, when it was, uh, my daughter was having our first grandchild and I had already had committed 75 people to her baby shower that weekend on that Saturday of that event. Do you guys think I stayed home? Nope. Because remember I said in the beginning, there's never a problem. There's always a solution. And I am a solution oriented person. I grew into that. And Tony and I looked, I, I said to her first, Tony can go and he can bring it home to me. And she said, no, no, no. Which is what somebody would say, Mr. Thomas would say this to you. No, you need it. It's just as important. He can't bring that experience home to me. There's no way I know it now. I didn't know it then, but she had to paint the vision of why I needed to be there. Do you see why I'm talking about vision and dreams today? 
because she knew our dreams. She knew our goals and she needed to paint the vision strong enough so that I would feel it and I would find a solution to get there somehow, even if it was for only 24 hours. And that is all I got. I show, I had to get a plane ticket. And remember, many of you know, we lost everything in the downturn in economy in 2008. And we were fighting our way back and we had prayed for ACN. That's who you're missing out there. There's people praying for ACN every day. We are business owners. We're multifaceted business owners and investors and so forth. But we had lost everything. And that happens to people. It happens to people. And when you can paint a vision, that's why you've got to capture it and have cognitive mobility so that those thoughts that you're thinking are incredible thoughts that will take you to that vision so that you could help other people capture it. Because it's not just about what you see. you got to help other people in this business capture the vision and so that they can instill it, get the belief that they have to power through this business because that was the answer to their prayer like it was for Tony and I. And I got there, I got 24 hours. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but I'm gonna tell you, I did not wanna leave my seat for the short amount of time that I got um, from the back of the room, back of the conference center, I was moved to the front because our regional vice president, like Mr. Thomas, gets VIP seats and you could be sitting in those VIP seats because you made the decision to go. Because his vision is bigger than yours. And he knows what you're missing or what you can have or where you can be. And so he's instilling his belief, but he needs you to experience it because it is not about getting it somebody else's experience, it's about yours. And it's about giving it to somebody else and not trying to tell them what it's like. Just get them there by your vision. And sitting in that front row of seats, we came home and we were so on fire that we had set multiple presentations. We shared our, our success story at, so that success part that I'm talking about, you got to understand the definition for you success story in we had no idea that our story was unfolding incredibly and that it needed to be shared so somebody else could hear it so we were there for somebody else but we were also there for ourselves and when we came home we actually put it we had a presentations and one presentation i'll tell you had over 60 people in it and it wasn't our presentation it wasn't somebody that went it was a new uh business partner that we had just gotten started and she and we our vision was so big that she could not not put more than 60 people in. she had to have a lot of people in that room because we painted the vision that where we're going we're going with or without you so who's coming with us this is where we're going and we paint that vision and so then when that there was a couple there painter contractor <coughs> somebody needs to hear the story painting contractor and his wife there and they got started immediately because of the vision and because of the economy tank. And you you heard Mr. Thomas start this conversation. You better understand what you have your hands on, painting this vision and understanding what's happening in our economy and start talking to more people and, and working the system perfectly because it's perfect system. And they they had their first presentation it was coming out of the seams of their house. There was over a hundred people because of the vision casting and the dreams that we all were having together. Does that make sense, everybody? There's power in that and ACN brings it alive and you've got to have people at the next event more than you had at the last one and, and, and new people. Because finally, I will say to you, I have never missed an event not one international event and there's and I'm at in the 50s now and I'm going to tell you even when I lost my husband in February I was still at the event in March and I knew because this is what you should know sometimes you need the event and sometimes the event needs you and it's so powerful when you understand the power of events and the vision casting that your team and you are going to get when they're there and when you're there next to them and the conversations that happen and the dreams and the visions that happen together, that's more powerful than anything. 
So I'm going to end it with that, except with one slide left. I want it's rise up the spirit within God within make it your comeback, whatever that looks like, because victory can be yours. That's the winged warrior in us. And it's with Proverbs 16, three commit thy works. That's your actions unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. That's your success. And with that being said, I'm going to turn it back to Mr. Thomas, because all of you, I know I can see it right now. There are a handful of you that are going to be a difference maker and your dreams and your visions are going to change lives. So I turn it back to you, Mr. Thomas. Thank you for the gift of being here wow. with you.